Let me tell y'all something. Democrats won big last night. Democrats won really big last night. We can take over this motherfucking narrative and run with it. But my problem right now that I'm having right now is with the fucking squad. And I see a lot of y'all asses trying to defend them, but I don't think y'all understand what the fuck just happened. I don't know if you've been paying attention or been looking at voters, but voter morale is down. A lot of people are being discouraged. A lot of people don't know what's going on in this administration and thinking that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Democrats don't give a fuck about them. And all we did was just use them for fucking votes. Do you not know that we midterm start now? Did you not know that primary start motherfucking now? We need something to run. We need accomplishments to run off of so that we can win and increase our voter morale. We need this fucking win. We needed this damn win. And a lot of y'all said there was nothing in that bill that actually helps poor people. Y'all, the privilege y'all motherfuckers talking about. When I told y'all I was out without water for three weeks, I think I deserve to take a bath. It's not because my bill wasn't paid. It's because the infrastructure sucks. I think I deserve to bathe. I think I don't need to go to work musty. Y'all don't understand when you wake up and you want to take a shower and you got to go to bed dirty. I don't think you motherfuckers really know. When your ass is riding around on bad roads with bald motherfucking tires and then you got an unexpected experience expense because you got to get more tires but you can't afford good ones y'all don't understand the privilege that you motherfuckers are talking about and my problem with the squad is y'all constantly do this fucking theatric shit playing politics with people's lives and y'all know that if we didn't pass this shit we wouldn't have nothing to run off of in 2022 if we didn't pass this shit voters would have checked the fuck out on us you know when i said that you know when people literally when you go to a restaurant when you go to a restaurant, they at least bring you bread right while you're waiting on your damn meal. Well, a lot of people would have walked the fuck out on the fucking restaurant if we wouldn't have brought them some fucking bread. I don't think y'all understand this shit. If y'all keep doing this shit, y'all words never match your motherfucking rhetoric. Y'all talk about how y'all cared about Afghan refugees and shit like that, but you voted against. Voted against when it came to increasing the capital security. In that bill, there was also giving Afghan refugees visas, but you voted against it. Y'all don't match your motherfucking words. You talking about how you felt all scared. You felt like your life was threatened at the fucking Capitol, but you voted against increasing capital security while also spending a hundred thousand dollars in private security. Y'all met y'all rhetoric don't match your words. Well, what about leverage? What about leverage? What about leverage? Let me tell you something. The only leverage that should matter is the leverage with voters. Because guess what? I know we want to build back better. I know we want it. But here's the situation right now. If we don't have leverage with voters, we can screw all that shit goodbye. Because guess what? We don't have to worry about Christian Cinema and Joe Manchin no more if we can flip two Senate seats. They won't fucking matter anymore. So I think it's important to give voters something a substance that we can run off of so that way we have leverage with voters so we can get two more senators in there so we can actually pass the build back better plan we don't have to worry about these two motherfuckers always stripping our fucking shit 